I go on. Today we are going to learn another lesson on Nectar in the Sea by Kamala Markandeya. Kamala Markandeya was born in India and uh, uh, she has shifted to UK. So she has bicultural identity. She was born in uh, 1924. Uh, her father was a rail transport officer. So most of his novels carries the theme of traveling and migration. Uh, Kamala Markandeya uh, uses pen name uh, for her writing also. Uh, when it comes to uh, Nectar in the Sea, the title is very significant because the title is taken from uh, Samuel Paul Rich's work without hope grows Nectar in the Sea. In other words, and hope without an object cannot live. For an example, when you take a sieve uh, like this, uh, the sweetness of the uh, things, we cannot hold it from that uh, seal. Therefore, always uh, Indian society consists of misery and tragedies. Uh, it is full of uh, starvation, full of droughts, uh, no uh, happy life. So always they, are, they have despair. So the title is very significant for uh, significant for the subtitle, a novel of rural India which captures with the theme of misery and sufferings. Uh, when it comes to this novel, the novel carries 30 chapters, 1 to 23, it is basically about Rukmani and Nathan's marriage life. And chapters 24 to 30, it's basically about fail attempt to live in the city life. So usually uh, Rukmani is the narrator, protagonist in the story. From her point of view, from the first person narration, from the flashbacks of Rukmani's perspective, the novel, uh, novel flows. When it comes to chapters 1, 2, 3, uh, it's about the, basically about the flashbacks of Rukmani's marriage life. Uh, Rukmani was the headman of, uh, daughter of the headman. So Rukmani was uh, given a marriage to a Nathan because uh, in Indian society it's very difficult to uh, give a marriage if they don't have proper dowry. So uh, Rukmani was given a marriage to Nathan. Nathan was a tenant farmer. So from the union of that, the Ira was, Ira was born. Ira was infertile, uh, but after the treatment, Ira uh, delivered a child called Sakravani. And the doctor Kenny was the introduction of westernization uh, for the society. Uh, so uh, these are the uh, these are the main uh, uh, children in the story. They are Arjun, Tambi. Uh, they work in the tannery. The tannery symbolizes the industrialization. The other uh, uh, sons are uh, Murugan, Raja, Selvan, Kuti. Uh, Murugan's uh, wife is Ammu. So uh, they had a uh, very uh, uh, unsuccessful marriage life. So uh, Murugan uh, deserted Ammu uh, and Chirilan also. Uh, Raja was uh, caught uh, from the stealing and uh, uh, stealing a hide from the tannery, so uh, he was uh, present. And uh, Selvam uh, and Kuti, another uh, kids in the story, uh, they also suffers from starvation. Uh, Puli is the adopted child in the story. So the story usually consists of the starvation, drought, the uh, nature, the condition of the rural India and uh, the, the significant part is the introduction of the tannery which symbolizes the industrialization, the encroaching industrialization for the Indian society. So the uh, main thing about the starvation, the death of Raja and Kuti uh, brings out this uh, misery of life, despair, theme of despair. Uh, when it comes to chapter number 17 to 23, uh, the, uh, the people get some kind of a release uh, from the environment. And also we can see from chapters number 17 to 23 the birth of uh, Sakravani from the Ayras. Uh, chapter number 24 to 30 is climax, leaving the land 
and they cannot pay the money back to Semen Gai, therefore they have to leave from the, uh, their family environment. So uh, after that the Nathan dies and Rupani had to return to the village with the pulley. So that is a kind of a basic uh, overview of the storyline. So we are just focusing on some of the themes. So hunger as a threat to dignity, knowledge as power, the strength of truth, uh, truth stands from the Rukmani's perspective, Rukmani is more uh, truthful in this uh, angle and the power comes from the invisible powers or, uh, from deities, Semenda's powers like that and the uh, power that they have physical to work in the nature uh, like that the power comes. The importance of fertility because Dr. Uh, Kenny uh, provides some me uh, medicine to uh, uh, to deliver kids for the uh, Aira and uh, Rukmani. So that is the fertility. Uh, so also the hope and despair. Usually the hope comes from the character of Kenny and despair always comes from the uh, starvation, from the drought and uh, despair comes. So uh, the, basically this uh, novel deals with the life and the death and also the uh, westernization also. Westernization uh, comes from the introduction of this character called Dr. Kelly and also the introduction of the tannery which symbolizes the industrialization, encroaching industrialization and migration uh, for the countries uh, and Dr. Kelly's uh, part is very significant for the westernization process and the rural agrarian uh, life changes uh, with the encroaching agents like uh, industrialization uh, which are somewhat invisible forces but they are very powerful in the novel. Uh, so these are some of the techniques. Motifs, drum beats, it's a kind of a message throughout the uh, story. Uh, confrontation with the strangers also, significant feature, uh, confrontation, confrontation with the Muslim wife, Kenny, Puli like that. Symbols, rice uh, and bullock saris uh, symbolize certain uh, uh, certain flourishing nature. Uh, tone is honest, simple and clear in this novel. Uh, it's about first person narration. So it gives uh, Rukmani's uh, flashbacks and flash uh, and another technique that is foreshadow. When the Kunti uh, prostitutes, uh, like, like uh, village women, neighbors like Kunti, Kali, Janaki, all those women uh, are there in this story. So this feminist angle also in this uh, novel and uh, Kunti's uh, prostitution and uh, foreshadows the Aira's prostitution also. In the following uh, video series, we are going to uh, learn some of the themes and how you attempt uh, answering the questions uh, for the context and essay type questions. Thank you very much for being with me. This is Indica English Academy, I hope.